Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and welcome to the program, fuckers. Hello, you miserable, nasty fuckers. And to... That's right, fuckers. He's the guy who bought the AP off me. He goes, Archie, you know what the best wristwatch for aviation is? And I said, no. I said, is it the Breitling Navi timer? He goes, Archie, the fucking... If you are actually in an aircraft and uh, you actually use those slide rules, he said, you will fucking end up upside down in a fucking stall spiral. It is fucking dangerous. It's, it's very, very tricky. He said the best wristwatch for aviation is the Omega Speedmaster man on the fucking moon. He said because you can time things. He said to me, you can time things. You can time how long has it been since the engine stopped? How long has it been since engine two has been on fire? You can time this shit, and that's more important than any of this other stuff. He said, look, GMT functions, he said, uh, that's marginally important, but he said, in most aircraft, you have that details available. He said, what you really need is a stopwatch, a simple stopwatch, and he said to me, I said, well... The Navi timers, he said, look, it's too confusing. The dial with the slide rule and this and that. He goes, the best wristwatch for aviation use is an Amiga Speedmaster man on the fucking moon. The man on the fucking moon. That is the best wristwatch for aviation. This is coming from a pilot. A pilot. He used to teach used to teach fuckers how to fly. Single engine Cessnas, fuckers. No fucking around in that sort of aircraft. You make a mistake, you're dead. And this is the whole point. The best wristwatch is a simple wristwatch. It's a wristwatch that does simple things. The Omega Speedmaster man on the fucking moon. The man on the fucking moon. One of the greatest aviation wristwatches of all time. I'm Archie Luxury, reporting the truth. Tell me what you miserable, nasty, smart-ass fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece, and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box and one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I doing what I supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.